Juju's been making the rounds on the bodybuilding channels. Greg Doucette, our doctor. Not quite show ready, but certainly if he had a couple weeks, certainly if he had Coach Greg coaching him. Uh, Zookeeper. Zookeeper, yeah. Uh, Nick Strength Power. If you look at the comments section, Nick has asked people what Juju's genetic weak point is and what he should bring up for his bodybuilding show in March. And it's very clear, Juju knows as well. It's, it's this thing. They're also saying triceps and legs. And, and, calves, and calves and biceps and, and feet and uh, sternocleidomastoid. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically everything <laughs> well, uh, is a weak point according one guy to Nick's said, strength and power community. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Thanks for the constructive criticism. One guy said, "Bring up your upper lip." Like he's, he's uh, one guy. One just one guy thinks Juju should get upper lip surgery. Uh, what? But, oh, uh, upper lip. <laughs> what better bodybuilder's routine to take from to get a bigger chest than Arnold himself? And wait, are we? Are we on a mountain right now? Oh, no, 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 I think, I think we're floating on top of his. Arnold had a number of chest routines. Here was his early chest workout, uh, but he changed it to a more intense methodology of supersetting back with chest. I'm gonna try to do my bench press like they did. They didn't like, they don't have a huge arch with their feet. And they're not like tucking their elbows in like a power lifter. Right. They just kind of flared out and they just kind of like laid on the bench and just, I don't think they put very much thought into it, dude. No. I, I think they just tried to feel the, feel the chest muscles. So that's what I'm going to try to do. He hit superset for the first set. He basically says, all right, bench uh, 25 to 30 reps to warm up. And then you get on the flat bench and you do a wide grip behind the neck chin-ups but I, I believe uh, i don't think arnold was doing 15 reps of behind the neck chin-ups at at his 270 bulked weight uh and so we're we're basically doing behind the neck pull downs instead which i think is what they actually did i think that might have been a typo man i think it was a typo they had yeah. i've never seen arnold do a wide grip behind the neck chin-up nor but, have i but, seen but i've seen him do this are four supersets ending with a rib cage expander, which you'll see coming up. Uh, Arnold really believed in it. I think this is the uh, the origin of all the Flex Magazine workouts. If ever any of you guys used to buy Flex Magazine between the 2000s and teens, they were all five sets of 10 to 12, like five exercises. It's like five sets of 10, five sets of 10, five sets of I believe Arnold had an opinion on torture. And it is being tortured, and it is in pain because you have now shocked the muscle. First superset, flat bench press six reps with minimal leg drive, maximal vintage. Looks like a vintage bench press. It does, yeah. It's really focused on the chest. Looks like a guy at the gym bench pressing. You know? It's kind of hard to get into. You have to have a more upright chest and torso than if you were doing a regular lat pull down. Um, I think it's been proven over the years that it's it looks cool, but it's not the most effective. One thing is to be hard in this workout. Yeah. And I have good grip strength, guys, but I don't think I usually ever saw them wear straps. I think that they had to have, right? <laughs> See how Tom likes this minimal leg drive thing? Eh, that's very minimal. <laughs> that's, uh, yep. Wow. The tank top is vintage in its own way, guys. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Okay. See my hand? Yeah. We're going to more vintage aesthetic here. Oh, wow. What do you call this? Sepia tone? <laughs> don't, don't say sepia ever again. <laughs> Do you think they did the same workouts, whether they were bulking or cutting, Tom? I don't. I actually don't know. Yeah. Well, should we ask Arnold? Yeah. Hey, Arnold, is uh, <laughs> is milk good for bulking? Milk is for babies. <laughs> when you grow up, you have to drink beer. Wait, when was the last time you actually had a beer, John? A beer? Yeah. Uh, last summer, maybe. Not this past one, but the one before it. I don't. Yeah, I don't even remember. I can't. I'm not doing this very well. It's uh, it's not meant to be done well. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Shoulder impingement, guys. Shoulder impingement. 
It does make you look pretty good, though. Can you do a few more reps? Just yeah. For Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Can you do it this way? Supinated grip? I do not think so. <laughs> no, I ain't. Because it says chin ups in it, right? Yeah, I think the stringer is actually doing you a lot of favors right now, bro. Yeah. Okay. It really doesn't feel good on the shoulders, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, we're, gonna did it. we're gonna do all the supersets and then we're gonna do the four sets off camera quicker. <laughs> now we are on to Arnold, one of Arnold's favorites. He talked about the incline press being really important and built in the pec minor. Incline press in different levels. So to start low, medium, and high. It is 10 to 15 reps. And we haven't done this in a while. No, haven't. And then we superset it with T-bar throws, which we are doing essentially just a landmine with T-bar attachment. It's over here, let's go. Yep. Follow me. Where? This is looking pretty old school right now. I like it. Yeah. You do look uh, incredibly old school. Hell yeah, bro. Especially with this filter, man. Sepia tone. <laughs> If you say CP again, I'm quitting this video. This, I'm gone. It was great. There's this crash. First set, is that lighter or is that a lot? I'm gonna get a hell of a forearm pump right now, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, dude, look. Forearm pump is in gear, bro. <laughs> hey, hey KCV8 or what you got on me, bro? Just close. Fighting Irish. All right, Thomas, get your set. <laughs> me? This is fun for you? Oh yeah, I prefer this over powerlifting all day. <laughs> hey Arnold, what are, you, uh, what are your thoughts on going to failure? Shock the muscle, shock the muscle, and shock the muscle. With this music playing in the background, I can't, can't help but think about <laughs> what Arnold would have thought of Rich Piana. I, wonder if he had I think a, he would have loved him. Yeah, I think he would have loved him too. I'm sure Rich loved Piana. I mean, Rich loved Arnold. Everyone loved Arnold. I loved Arnold. I remember. Me and Antoine used to watch Arnold stuff as a kid. I'm with Ronnie Coleman. And, dude, I remember getting in the mail Flex Magazine 2003 Olympia Edition mm -hmm. with the foldouts of Ronnie Coleman in 2003, which is honestly one of the freakiest looking Olympia uh, conditions that has ever existed was Ronnie Coleman in 2003, man. But yeah. I don't know, but I'm nodding yes. yes. See, the, the difference between you and I is that I didn't look up to Arnold as a bodybuilding figure. I just liked all of his movies. Oh and yeah. I grew up on Total Recall, Kindergarten Cop, Terminator. Oh God, I loved all those, bro. One of my favorite scenes was in Commando. They kind of break for an interrogation moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, the terrorist asks uh, Arnold, you're going to cooperate with us, right? <laughs> and Arnold just looks at him and goes, wrong! <laughs> Wait, Shoots him out the window. Did you give the terrorist a lisp? <laughs> no. <laughs> you did? <laughs> no, Arnold. What, what do you think is the most important chest exercise? The flies was an exercise that uh, gave me the full pectoral muscle development. Juji, how often do you do that? Never. You never do flies? Not with dumbbells. I don't even know a weight to pick. Um, he, Arnold said he was doing 85s. What? Yeah, he was saying he was doing, starting with 85s and going down or something crazy like that. Uh, I think, what, 45s, you think, good for you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wonder if Arnold had a DEXA scan, how much weight would actually, how much actual tissue is in his chest? <laughs> Chef Fly, what is the superset with? <sighs> Wide grip, bent over barbell row. Oh gosh. Um, it's a superset, but uh, Arnold said when he does flies, he almost goes to the ground. Almost hitting the ground. And uh, I was a big believer in expanding the chest as much as possible. Yeah. He almost stretches to the ground, bro. Fuck. That doesn't feel very good. No, he's crazy, man. Does he really do that or does he just say I it? swear I saw, I seen it. How are they feeling? I mean, how, to be honest. Sure. Not great. Okay. I just feel like my shoulder is getting stretched and I'm trying to focus and trying to get the chest to contract. But all I can think about is how much more I'd rather just do this on a cable stack while chewing gum like Arnold did. That seems wide enough. I, that, I, I think I've seen him do this. Yeah. That seems right. It feels right. Okay. Nice. All right, this is the super shot version. I think this is a nice portion of it. 
Uh, I chose these exercises as a superset in particular. Why did he not superset the incline press with this one? That's some wizardry going on here. I'm not sure. He did enjoy torturing the muscles. And this is definitely a torturous process. One thing we got going on right with this workout, guys, is the lack of air conditioning. This is old school right here. <laughs> it is, it's man. a sweat box. Good gosh, I wonder what those gyms smelled like with all those super manly men walking around with mustaches and stringers. Uh, it was a different era <laughs> of body odor. Would you drink out of the water fountain there? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Drink would... out of the same water fountain as Arnold? They'd probably yeah. add an itch to your arms just as doing As Franco that. Colombo? Franco is pretty smart, but Franco is a child. Huh? Just, uh... Hmm? Is that an incline fly? Is that in the, is that in his routine? His early routine had a lot less volume in, like fifty percent of the volume, as this routine. Apparently, he did. You know what his split was? It was just like two workouts a day, push pull, push pull, pull twice a day. It was nuts. Yeah, I read something about him working out two or three times a day. All those guys had a really high volume of training. Yeah. I don't like this that much. This one? You don't like this one? No. I think it's okay, honestly. This is... It's, uh, it's wide. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I personally prefer to do it kind of like a Pendley Row style where I let the weight rest between reps. But, you know, who knows if he did that himself. Maybe he did. He just didn't... I'm not sure, but uh, the last... Superset is dips and again he says chin ups, but I'm guessing that's lat pull down. He said chin ups with a neutral grip. Yeah, so that's lat pull down. Lat pull down grip. <laughs> we could do chin ups. What do you think? Uh, dips yeah, and chin ups. I'll do chin ups. I'll do chin ups. Okay. Fourth superset and final one. It's 15 reps of deeps and 12 reps do of it, that. Tom. We can't actually do it. What do you he mean? He says parallel bar dips. Oh, well. We're cheating a little okay. uh, because this is a chest workout and he was mostly getting his triceps. So <laughs> uh, this is uh, good dips. I believe Arnold, uh, I had, I, hey Arnold, are you gonna be coming to the gym anytime soon? I'm coming day and night. Yuji has an open invite to you. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. No Arnold, not in that way. Not coming in that way. The feeling of coming backstage when I pump up. Just, you know, drive here. <laughs> These are neutral grip pull-ups. This is feeling pretty good. I like this workout a lot, actually. It's just two dudes in a freaking old school. This is a perfect Eric Bugenhagen workout. Honestly. Yeah. I, mean, I think we've mentioned him in a few of the previous videos. Guys, he's gonna be one of the first people to come here when we get a little bit more infrastructure. Yeah. With yeah, Jim yeah. Farm. So you just- We just like just working out with we, Bugenhagen. That's we love him. He's Sam loves following him on Instagram, actually. Oh, I think his Instagram is hilarious. She finds him hilarious, man. How's that one? Juicy. I wish Eric would just be utilized by the NXT. That'd be cool. Uh, the pump is real, though. You look really good. I feel like I got an old school pump. I think like so, honestly. Pump. It's just like chest, a whole upper body, and then yeah. your legs are there. I look like those guys looking at himself in the mirror in Gold's gym in the 70s. True. I mean, the reasoning why Nick Strength and Power people are like, Juju should do classic is just because your upper body is so miles ahead of your legs. Not miles, but a lot of It's ahead. miles ahead of my legs. Don't get me wrong. I yeah. know what my weak points are. And but they, that's how they look. I mean, that's Arnold's yeah. legs were not utilized as often as his upper body. <laughs> you, yeah, that's true. But do you think it's the forearms too? Because a lot of these guys, again, I mentioned about a lot of these exercises are hard to hold on to, man. You know, and it just yeah. the forums, bro. They had big forums and a lot. Dude, I go to Reddit, the bodybuilding subreddit. So many times people will say, wow, that guy's forums are lagging uh, for really? bodybuilders. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's like it's a, it's a common thing in modern bodybuilders that their forums can lag behind because they're utilizing straps so much yeah. and other implements rather than their grip. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Hey Tom, I heard uh, Arnold had a garage gym. Yeah. And uh, in order to bring up his arms, well, actually, <laughs> someone suggested he just put a bunch of arm equipment in there and build up his arms. So he's like, no, my weak point's my calves. That's why I was taking photos of me in a river posing with my calves in the water. So he filled his garage gym up 
with a bunch of calf training equipment. That's what got his calves to brought his calves up, man. So I think you're taking a, a lesson from Arnold's book. He you just know? did calves in his garage? Yeah, he just had a bunch of calf machines in his garage, man. Just kind of like you're gonna have a bunch of arm machines. My arms are gonna blow up. I swear to gosh. I swear to Arnold. I swear to the whole country of Ireland. I will get these arms up. I honestly just love all the workouts we've been doing, man. I do. We even deadlifted the other day. We didn't film it. No. And I did 465 yeah. deadlift. I haven't deadlifted. I've deadlif been deadlifting once a week. And I'm just like, oh, here's 465 at 170, whatever, three body weight I'm at. Mm -hmm. I think we got a really And it wasn't hard. Like John saw it, it went up fast as fuck. Okay. And you did 630. Oh yeah, I'll bet. Oh man, you could do 700. <laughs> Going to the 700, no? Uh, We're just like, all right, we'll just do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fun. I love this train. I'm excited for the winter, man. It's pretty good. We're gonna get. We're gonna. Get. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a sneeze coming up. <clears throat> We're gonna get huge. Uh, Arnold, I've been, I've, I've been seeing a lot of talk of this one specific exercise, and your belief that. Opposing science, you can actually expand your rib cage. Why do you think that, Arnold? Okay. Well, Juju, do you do these often? I never do them. Okay. But, I mean, I don't have an opinion, Tom, honestly. Sure. I mean, a lot of this stuff I just don't have an opinion on. Okay. Uh, but you don't need very much weight for this, that's for sure. Also, very unforgiving for someone with long arms, like me and Arnold. Arnold, at the end of his workout, mentions isotension contractions which I believe is just posing. And I told him when he walks out, he has to scream loud too, you know, <laughs> run out. Ah! You're gonna do vacuums? Sure, I mean, I guess this posing is just as of tension contractions, like you said. Vacuums, uh, you just suck your gut in, I guess. But they're pulling it in, controlling it, like beaten dogs. I hate that look. Like a greyhound. Okay, that's progress, I think. It's pretty clean. Um, oh. let's see if I can, let's see if I can out vacuum you. Sure. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna move a little over here. Am I, I, who's out vacuuming who? Am I out vacuuming you? I, I can't tell because I didn't get to see me because we don't have mirrors out here. But, uh, face me. Call upon Frank Zane, oh. the spirit of Frank Zane. I, are these actually healthy? I mean, are you squishing your organs when you do them? I don't know. There you go. Yeah. Do a crucifix pose with vacuum. Anyway, yeah, cool. It's a good pose. Old school poses, guys. Old school poses. Old school workouts. Old school advice. Old school vibes. Old give my, school. Give me a good lighting. Last video was lamenting. Good lighting? Yeah. Okay. This is the best lighting. This angle right here. This is why we always go out here. Vacuum. <laughs> it's exhausting, isn't it? I think these workouts are cool to mix in with more traditional, uh, this is a traditional yeah. bodybuilding, with more modern bodybuilding style training. If you have access to machines that can isolate you a lot more, I think you have to do those if you want the best bang for your buck. But there's something about these workouts that just really just test you because everything's like super compound in a way that a lot of new bodybuilding training isn't. So I think these are great. I love them. I love them. I, I don't want to do nothing but this because then I'm going to have a hard time isolating the muscle and really getting a, the best pump possible. But this old school workout, man, I mean, we do this stuff kind of anyways. Yeah. We do a lot of this stuff in what we do anyway. Not this volume. No, not this volume. And we usually don't uh, do muscle groups like chest and back on the same day. But well, I don't know why you can't. Yeah. Arnold did. Look up. Well, all those guys did. Look how good they all looked. Yeah. But, uh, I, I want to do something. We're thinking about going back and get a DEXA scan. What if I DEXA scan my fucking rib cage, my man, and see if my rib cage grows from daily pullover usage, right? Science. Let's see. Arnold, what's your rib cage measurement? I know your chest grew 19 inches, but show us that rib cage data. Uh, hey, Arnold. One last question. What, uh, what one of your workouts should we do next? Blood is rushing into your muscles, and that's what we call the pump. Get.